Piano Britannia. Is there any better feeling than being out at sea? The sound of the waves crashing against the ship's hull. The sea dominating my vision as far as the eye can see. The gentle breeze blowing against my... Oh, my stomach's rumbling. I better head off to uh, breakfast. To my surprise, the buffet was actually rather calm this morning, which probably had something to do with the clocks going forward last night. I imagine everyone slept in by an hour. And yes, okay, I got three helpings for breakfast. What are you going to do? Sue me. I'm a hungry boy. <laughs> After a filling breakfast, I headed down to the atrium for Britannia Uncovered. This was our chance to get a glimpse into the inner workings of Britannia and the vast amount of staff and departments needed to keep the ship afloat. No pun intended. Around the atrium, there were stalls from each department where they detailed what their role was on board. From the photo department to the food department, deck department and shop department. The drinks department was showing us how they make those famous cocktails, whilst the security department was showing us all their fancy gear they use to keep us safe. There was also a napkin folding demonstration where we could learn how to create objects just by folding napkins. A real skill if you ask me. The highlight for everyone, I think, was the housekeeper department, which, apart from being a very hard working department, held the infamous bed making competition, where passengers would be timed on how quickly they could make a bed. Sounds pretty easy, but from how long it takes me to make my own bed, I'm guessing that it isn't. Every time I try and pull the sheet, over the bed, the other side comes up and it's, oh, it's just, uh, don't even talk to me about putting the duvet in the cover. I mean, I just, I'm not built for stuff like that. But it was during this competition that we learned that the captain is actually very good at making beds, getting the fastest time of one minute, 36 seconds. Do you think you could beat that? Let me know in the comments down below. A few people tried, but I think it's best if we leave this to the professionals. All right, there you go. Look, it's crazy to think of how just staring at a bed for a while can make you really tired, but there you go. Before on that though, I was inspired uh, to try and make my own bed. So I gave it a go. What do you think? And there you go, look, pretty good. What do you think, huh? Now, of course, credit for this goes to my cabin steward who every morning will make the bed and also take care of anything else do in the cabin and it's stuff like this and also the event earlier in the atrium that remind you how hard these people really work so when you're next on board take a moment to appreciate the hard work and sacrifices these people make because without them this really is just a floating bit of metal in the ocean and well if you look outside there is a slight shade of blue maybe that's kind of blue isn't it i guess all right, so let's get out on the top deck and start enjoying some of that sun. And well, it would have been just plain rude of me not to stop by the Lido Grill for a cheeseburger and fries. Now, I think we can all tell that the sun was a bit shy coming out in the beginning. But look at her now, shining down her UV rays upon Britannia like, well, like a Mediterranean cruise, I guess. It is evident to anyone that we are far, far away from the smelly UK now. As the afternoon pressed into the evening, many started leaving the open decks to get ready for this evening's activities, as did I. The show this evening was Sounds of the Underground, performed by the Headlines Theatre Company. This was a medley of singing and dancing to popular songs related to Britain. The show was fast paced and contained music related to Britain's contained countries. After the show finished, 
I went on Piano's Not app to join the virtual queue for dinner. But with over 50 people in front of me in both the restaurant's queues, I decided to stick to the good old fateful buffet for something I'm sure you could probably class as a meal. I am a fan of pesto mash though. And to round the evening off as I normally do, a small ponder around Britannia's open decks to conclude the evening that is today or something. All right, so that there is gonna bring us to the end of day three on board the Piano Britannia. I hope you enjoyed our day at sea and all the various activities going on around Britannia. Make sure to come back tomorrow as we hit our first port of call, Gibraltar, and end up climbing up a massive rock. <laughs> but until then, goodbye for now, and I'll leave you with this beautiful sunset.